Durban, South Africa, a city with a 200 kilometer stretch of subtropical Indian Ocean frontage and an abundance of river systems. Here, one man is doing his part using innovation and community awareness to help keep those rivers clean. I've been doing beach cleanups for years and years and years. And I think for me, with my experience, I just decided that it would be a good idea to, to implement another strategy where we can um, set up interventions and interception methods in the rivers themselves. In 2017, Cameron Service started the Litter Boom project. By targeting the rivers instead of just oceans, the project aims to curb marine plastic pollution. A litter boom is essentially just a black pipe. So we use HDPE pipes that we extend across the river and we tension it. All the plastic fills into the litter boom onto the side of the banks and then our teams obviously take the plastic from the river onto the side of the banks where we sort it and we transport it away to various facilities. And there is a ripple effect to Cameron's work. We've got innovation projects that are happening up in the Midlands, which is about an hour away. And those guys are using these, uh, some of this recycled plastic to go into products like building blocks, like pavers, um, like pallets, and various other objects um, or other, other products. So the opportunity for us really lies in people being able to use this plastic waste. So at the moment, we are operating in five different river systems just in Durban and we've got 34 staff that are deployed across seven different sites in those five river systems and we're collecting anywhere from 500 to 1,000 kilos a day. So on average about 22 to 23 tonnes a month. To increase the impact, Cameroon plans to employ more staff, even extending litter boom beyond Durban into the Western Cape and Cape Town. We believe that the, the efforts that we are making at the moment are, are perhaps um, is significant in our small environment at the moment, but we believe that the solution and the application of using this uh, three-phased approach in terms of the beaches, rivers and communities, so it doesn't have to be the litter boom project, it can be someone in Dominican Republic that's, that's putting this structure in place there and, um, and so essentially what we're doing is we're working really hard to create a model that anyone can use globally. So what started as a local passion project could have lasting global effects. My passion and my hope and my dream is that we'll be able to get into these rivers and we can swim in them and we can enjoy them and we can drink from them uh, like we did 50, 60 years ago. Eleni Jokas, CNN.